Now, the first thing I want to cover is the fact that it's ready when I am. And what I mean by that is I don't have to drive 15 minutes to the gym. I just hop on my total gym. And in the time that I could have driven to the gym, I've done a whole workout. Sometimes I'll even split my workouts into two times a day. So I only do, say, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at night. And I can work that around my schedule, which is awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in a few little exercises as we go just to show you some cool things on the total gym. I like to just do some basic chest. You can turn that into a fly just by going wide. And you can even come at it from underneath here and get the top of your chest. So there's three really quick exercises for the chest. I didn't even get off the total gym. I didn't even change my grip really. All right, so next point, number two. The total gym is really for every part of your body. You can get a cardio workout by just doing the exercises back to back and really quickly together. You can do um, a good like muscle exercise. And I'm not just talking about toning. I'm talking about building your muscles. But, and it really depends on how hard you go and, and what kind of weight levels and levels that you do it at. But you can throw weights on here like I've done and get a really good muscle workout and build muscle. So don't think that you can only tone on the total gym. You can do all of it. And not only that, you can do legs, you can do upper body, you can do your midsection, your abs, really easily using the total gym. It accommodates all the parts of your body. All right, so we're going to do some shoulders real quick here. This is a real easy shoulder press. This one will build them really good. Your shoulders, turn it around. And you can do sort of like a shoulder raise. Cross over your grip. You can do standing row. There you go. Now this is kind of an interesting point, sort of an analogy, and maybe I made up myself. The total gym really isn't a workout as much as it's a shape in. So you don't have to go out and work. And you know, when you're doing a workout, it's work. Not that the total gym isn't hard or doesn't isn't really a workout. It just I find it much easier to use. And so I like to call it a shape in because I'm getting in shape while I'm staying in. I don't have to go up. And uh, I find that I can get a fantastic workout on the total gym. And in many cases, even when I don't want to do an actual weight workout or use my free weights, I'll talk myself into doing a workout on the total gym because to me it's just easier to use and I still get a fantastic workout. All right, so we're going to do some biceps here real quick. Just speaking, I turn around. I just do a real quick. You can do them individually. You get a nice in your body here. You get a great bicep workout. You can even bend way down and do them. All kinds of ways you can do biceps on the total gym. Now this point here, point number four, the total gym is really for everyone. I don't care if you're young, if you're old, if you're a professional athlete, everybody can benefit in some way from the total gym. And I get a lot of people who are new to working out, and like I said, I recommend the Total Gym highly. It's fantastic for anybody. And if you're older, the fact that you're going to have injuries, and you can really adjust it to your level, the Total Gym will accommodate you. And if you're a professional athlete, I'm not saying I'm a professional athlete, but I tend to want to go a little harder, add some weight to it, put the level up. I can do that with the Total Gym, and it totally complements my regular workouts. My, I say regular workouts, but my... Workouts that include free weights and things like that. The total gym, to me, sometimes benefits me more than those do because of the way the pulleys work. It's just more forgiving towards me. Yet yeah, I still get a great workout. All right, so now I think we're going to do back. One great back exercise is just sort of I bend over a little bit and I do a roll. I'll do like 18 or 20 of these. And then I'll just sort of extend it and do it, jump down a bit. And I do it more in an upright position, so I'm actually doing more out of the chin up, the wide chin up. Then I'll cross them over and I'll do a roll. Again, I can quickly change my grip just a little bit, then down and do more of a chin up. You can pull it in here. And do more like a chin. You can change your grip and your style again to accommodate you and if you have any injuries, depending on what's going on. Now, this point, kind of a simple point, but the total gym 
can be used anywhere. Uh, you don't need a lot of room. I've got a big gym here, well not really big, but big enough. And this is only taking up maybe 8 feet by 4 feet. So you can easily put this in a bedroom, in a spare room of some sort. Put it on your bed when you're done with it. Really, the total gym. Uh, there's no excuse not to be able to put this somewhere because, again, you can tuck it away in a closet, put it on your bed, pull it up when you need to. So, awesome piece of gear for that. Alright, so I think I've shown you enough quick exercises in this video. I just want to get to my next couple points and finish off this video. But one uh, point I really wanted to mention, point number six, is the total gym is easy on the body. I'm 43 now and I start to feel it. And I get injuries sometimes, I don't even know how I got them. I wake up with an injury. I step on a curve and I hurt my knee. I've got something going on in my wrist right now. I can't bend it all the way, so it's hard even to do push-ups. And yet, I can still do pretty much everything on the total gym. It just sort of adapts to your body. You can angle things a little different if you've got pains and aches. And so the total gym is great. You can work through injuries. You can repair injuries on the total gym. So it's great just for that alone. If you're, if you're experiencing injuries often, if you're older or a professional athlete that's pushing your body all the time, and you need to work through those injuries, Consider the total gym. Now my last real point that I want to mention, point number seven, is the total gym is affordable. It's super affordable. If I could only have one piece of gear, this would be it. And the reason for that is because it's, you know, it doesn't cost a lot of money, yet it does a lot. And you could go with the total gym XLS like I have, and you generally have to buy these on infomercials. Um, no big deal, I mean, it's, they've got easy payments. I don't want to sound like an infomercial here, but they've got easy payments and it's risk-free. So you can go that route. You can also go to a big box store and buy uh, a more entry level model. They're not going to be as good as this one, but for a few hundred dollars you can buy a total gym that is similar to this in many ways. will do most of the same things. Maybe not quite as high quality or quite as many exercises. It doesn't necessarily come with as many accessories, but still a great way to get into a total gym. So don't let any price barriers uh, stop you from getting one of these because I really encourage anybody interested in getting in shape, doing a good all around workout, in getting a, a total gym if they uh, think that this is uh, as good as I do. So with that said, if I could have one piece of gear, it would be the total gym.